Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, Vilma. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Diana. Good evening. Okay, it's a pleasure for me to be with you once again. I hope everybody's fine. I hope everything is fine at home with the rain and everything. How are you doing near your houses with the rain? Are you having difficulties or not? Hello, good Hi. evening. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Is it raining near your house? Yeah. Okay. What about the rest? Carolina, Diana, Tatiana, Marlene? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Tati. Uh, well, in my case, it's very difficult because I, I live near to the um, Colonia Malaga, oh. Malaga neighborhood. So when it's raining, I have to move my car every single night. So I, I did that today. So <laughs> yeah, in order to prepare, right? To be, yes. to be careful. Yeah, because we never yeah. know. We never really know what might happen, right? Yes, uh, the last years, the last year uh, that happened, and my car get uh, full of water. And oh my god! I have many many travel with that, so it's is is difficult when it's raining for me. <laughs> Yes, I imagine. So it's better yeah. if you prevent and you move everything that you need to move and yeah. you, you sleep peacefully. <laughs> yes, because I live at the apartments, but the problem is the the cars. The parking. Are, the parking, yes, that is a problem. Okay, so we hope everything, everything is going to be fine and you are not going to worry about that, at yeah. least during this year. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Tati. Mr. Juan, how was your day? Hello. <clears throat> Good night. Hello. Uh, my day was very busy. I was checking uh, uh, with my co-worker in Honduras. Uh, oh, we, okay. were, we were uh, working in a schedule program because he was he was helping he was asking no it's okay continue try to continue building up the idea okay he, he was tired? asking you <laughs> He was asking you every no, day. No, in that case, you say he was asking me <laughs> if you are talking about he, you. He was asking me every day for for this, and we end at seven o'clock p.m. Okay, you finish at seven p.m. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Remember when you use the time, you don't say if you say seven o'clock at night, you say. At night. Okay. Or you say 7 p.m. 
but you cannot say 7 o'clock p.m. because that will be redundant. So you can say okay. 7 p.m. or 7 o'clock at night. So for you to specify. Good, okay, thank, thank you very you. much, Juan. You see, I like this space in my class every day because it helps you to create ideas in the past about what happened in your day. The past tense is the most complicated thing about English, but it is complicated because we don't practice. And because we say, and we want to speak only in present or in future, but we don't want to speak in past because it's kind of complicated with the verbs, with the pronunciation, with all these structures of, of the irregular forms. So it's very complicated. That's why in every single class, I include this part that it's called highlights of your day on which you have to think about what you did during your day because I ask different people, right? I ask, uh, well, Tati that she was sharing, I asked one, I am going to ask two more uh, to share. So in this moment of the class, you talk and you think, okay, how was my day today? What did I do? Uh, what activities did, uh, did I um, go through the day? So it helps you to analyze your day. So I really invite you that before the class, make a little, uh, like a little sketch. And you say like, okay, the highlights about my day. Today was very busy. I did this and this and this and this and this. And then you can create your idea. Así cuando les pregunte, no los agarro así como, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué le digo? No. It is good. It is good that you write down some information, some ideas about the things that you do during the day. And it helps you to create and to reinforce the past tenses. I am going to ask uh, Rocio Veronica, how do you feel today? How was your day compared to yesterday? Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for asking, but um, not feel good because oh, I'm my sick. God. And today was a very difficult day to me. <laughs> And oh, really? I sleep today, yeah. But oh. it's okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's I can't do anything to to feel better more than take my 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 uh, I don't medicine. Know how to say medicine, yeah, uh -huh. medicine. Okay. So, but I hope that you are going to feel better soon. But it is just the flu, or is it something worse? Uh, headache. Okay. Headache and, and a stomach, a stomach ache. So you have a <laughs> headache and a stomach ache. Did you do the COVID test? Yeah, yeah I think I have. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you have more than, than the normal symptoms. And in that case, you need different medication. So... I, I, yeah. I just recommend you, but if you feel better tomorrow, that would be fantastic. And uh, let me see, is, is there someone else who wants to share about his or her day? If not, I can choose the next one. Volunteers? Me, people. teacher. Go ahead, Mr. Jorge. Uh... What can I say? My my day was so busy, so boring. I was working every day, uh, all the day in my computer. I was to meeting by Zoom. I, you had meetings at Zoom or yeah. through Zoom? Through Zoom. And... Um, uh just working. working working and working do you do home office or presential work it's present it's present presential here in, presential here in san miguel ah oh my god you live in san miguel is it no i'm i'm living i i live in san salvador but i work ah oh my god in san miguel a lot oh, of traveling. 
from Monday to Friday, I work in, in San Miguel. Oh my God. And do you travel every day? No. Ah, okay, that's good because it's a lot of traffic. I imagine. <laughs> well, so tired. I imagine. And tell me, is it as hot as, as they say? Uh, out or out of the the office is very hot, but in the office, <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> but that's a problem in the end because when you go out, it's like it burns. <laughs> yeah. You can feel the the. The weather, the, the hot. The change. You can feel the change. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear class. So it was a pleasure to listen about your days. And I hope all the rest of you have, have, have had a very beautiful day today. So thank you very much for the highlights. We are going to just uh, do a quick review about the agreements, right? Here I am going to ask... A, well, Norma Carolina is it's driving. Be careful, okay? <laughs> Be careful, honey. Let's see. I am going to ask Rosa Beatriz. Can you help me to read the first four agreements? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help when needed. Keep your cameras on, on all the time. Keep microphones off. Where are not using them? If we are not using them. Okay, Carolina Jamilet, can you help me with number five, six, and seven? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, sweetheart. Uh, number number five. No, see, number five, attend all your session on time. Number six, uh, participate as much as possible. Uh, number Six. Seven. Seven, perdón. Eh, keep uh, a cooperative um, attitude. Attitude. Attitude during class. And thank you very much. I am going to ask Mr. Juan de Dios to read number eight and nine. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Work on the platform every day. Very good job. Now, thank you very much to my volunteers. Did you have the opportunity to open the platform today? Yes? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Remember that you can read, you can analyze, you can advance as much as possible during the week, right? And through the different exercises. And for sure, that it's the way for you to practice. The practice from yesterday was exactly the one that we did during mm -hmm. class, right? It was about the different definitions that we studied yesterday. And that's my next question, right? That's my next question. Today, we are going to have the class number two of the distribution channels, but I want to ask you, do you remember what we studied yesterday? Do you remember vocabulary from yesterday? What activities did we do? What did we do yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes. In my case, I I I work in new vocabulary. This is hey. my hey. new vocabulary. Great job. Yeah. Yeah. Like very nice, very nice. Remember to fix your name on the on the Zoom meeting because I have your computer name. Okay, all of you. Todavía me sale Del. I, I Don't worry, don't worry. Porque recuerden que cada vez que hacemos que hacen como la auditoría al día siguiente. Revisan que todos sus nombres estén correctos, que todas sus cámaras estén encendidas y que pues obviamente todos ustedes estén presentes en clase. Ok, okay voy, a, voy, a, voy a corroborar eso porque no, no tengo ni idea de cómo cambiarlo. Ok, Ayer, niña, me ayudó. importante. ¿Cómo cambiamos el nombre en la plataforma? Se van a la barra de opciones donde dice participantes. Donde dice participantes y está el número de personas que estamos en la, en la reunión. ¿Sí? Ok, ya lo vi, sí. 
Cuando usted está en su nombre, oh, le salen okay. dos opciones. Dice silenciar okay. y más. En más, ahí le sale destacar para todos, editar imagen de perfil y cambiar nombre. Yo lo tengo de silenciar. Y a la par. Punto, mamplaje, cambiar nombre. Okay. Ajá, exacto. Lo siento. ¿No? Ahí ya me va a quedar, ya me va a quedar, ¿verdad? Ahí le queda, ahí le queda el nombre. Y si no, mañana, cuando se conecte, revise. Yeah, okay. Y ahí les ayuda a todos para que puedan corroborar ahí su nombre y lo puedan corregir. Esa fue nuestra lección de Zoom del día. Thank Good. you, teacher. You're welcome. You're I do welcome. It right now. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so yesterday we talked about what? What did we talk about yesterday? Do you remember, my dear students? We were talking about the distribution channels. We were talking about the distribution channels. Do you remember the vocabulary that we studied yesterday? Yes, we were talking about cons consultant, retail. consultant, retailer, wholesaler. Uh huh. Wholesaler. Very good. What else? The distributor. The distributor. Good. Very good. And manufacturers. The manufacturers representative. Very good job. Who remembers? Who remembers what a wholesaler is? Uh -huh. Okay, it's an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Very good job. Two claps for Manuel. Okay, very good. <laughs> very nice. Who remembers what a retailer is? Retailer is a person or business that sell goods to the public in a small quantity for use. Okay, the, a person or business that sell goods to the public in a small quantities for the use. Very good. What is a consultant, people? Who remembers that one? What is a consultant? A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution, distribution logistics. As distribution logistics. Very good job. Who remembers what a distributor is? What is a distributor? It's an agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sells to consumers. Okay, businesses. Business. Businesses. Good, very good. And the last one. What is a manufacturer's representative? Uh -huh. It's an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's products to wholesalers, wholesalers and retail customers. Very good job. Excellent job, right? Very nice. Very nice. That's a very good way for you to practice, right? It's a very good way for you to remember what we did in the previous class. Very nice. So we were talking about the different vocabulary, right? The manufacturer, the distributor, the retailer, and the customers, right? These are the four sections of the process. The most important person in a process of a product, for sure, it's the manufacturer because it's the one that creates everything, right? Then when you create something, you have to think, how am I going to distribute it? Then for sure, the retailers come into the business and they say, hey, I can sell your product in my store because I need the customers to come and buy. And for sure, when the customers come and buy, we start the circle again, right? The cycle starts again. We have a whole cycle of processes here. It starts here, it goes here. When you have more money to buy more product, you ask the manufacturer and then they distribute. And again, it's a never ending cycle, right? It is important to keep it in mind, right? You have the manufacturer, distributor, retailer, and customer. So 
before we move into the topic of the day, I am going to call the attendance. Today, I sent on the WhatsApp group the list of people who are going to be staying in the one-on-one -on -one session, right? I sent you the list. Who is the person for today? Claudia Maria Melendez. Exactly, right? Claudia Maria is the person for today. For tomorrow, we are going to have Cristia, that she's entering a little bit later. For Thursday, we have Diana, and for Friday, we have Jorge Humberto, okay? On Saturday, I am going to send you the ones for the next week. So, that's important. I am going to call the attendance, my dear class, and remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Claudia Maria Melendez. Claudia Maria. Okay, so hopefully we are going to uh, have her soon. Okay, si Claudia Maria no se conecta este día, voy a trabajar con Cristia. Y si Cristia tiene problemas para conectarse, igual voy a trabajar con la siguiente, que es Diana. Okay, pero esperamos que Claudia y Cristia se conecten en un momento. Cristia viene un poquito más tarde. And here we have Diana Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela. Present teacher. Jose Carlos sí. Argueta. Present teacher, ya casi llego a casa. <laughs> very But good, I'm... very good. Don't worry. Be careful. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Mr. Jose Rodrigo. Mm, okay, he's not here today. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Linda Yvette. Okay, Linda Yvette. Eh, Manuel Antonio. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Eh, Maria Genoveva. Let's see, Miguel Angel Dominguez. Miguel Ángel está con conjuntivitis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Por Miguel Ángel. Ok. Ok. Entonces, dígale que porfa se comunique con los encargados para comentarles acerca de la situación. Sí, eso le dije yo ahora. Pobrecito. Oh, Nelson Gabarrete. Mr. Nelson. ¿Qué me le pasó a Mr. Nelson? Ojalá no se le haya ido la luz igual que ella. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Thank you. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Bill Maybet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Present. hello, Danny. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I didn't see you yesterday, but it is a pleasure to have you here today. My name is Natalie de Flores and I am your teacher, the facilitator in charge of your group. So thank you very much for the attendance, my dear class. Let's continue working. Today, we are going to work a little bit more on the different distribution channels. But here we have four different channel, channels of distribution. We have the first one, what is the name of the first channel the first channel it's called direct channel producer direct yeah. channel right direct channel what about the second one retailer, retailer, retailer channel. channel retailer channel the next one 
Wholesaler channel. And the last one? Agent broker channel. Agent or broker channel, right? In this case, as you can see, the first channel, the direct channel, it's from the producer straight to the customers. Can you give me an example of a direct channel that you know in your life, in your area, in your neighborhood? The producer to the customers. That the you that sell the, the tortillas. Okay, the lady who sells the tortillas, right? He's the producer and you are the customer. Any other example that you know in your area? Well, el que vende la leche, it's... <laughs> no, in that the case, uh-huh. The baker. The oh, baker. Yeah. Very good, the one who sells the bread, right? He is the producer and he goes straight to the customers. The bakers have different ways of distribution. For example, the one, the one that we know in our neighborhood, they make the bread and you go to the bakery, right? But in some other cases, we have the producer, the retailer and the customers. And the retailer, it's outside your house, like, Mickey, 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 because he's just giving out the bread, right? We have another uh, type of channel. Examples of a retailer channel that you know. What are some examples of retailer channels that they go from the producer to the retailers and then to the customers? ¿Qué situación conocen ustedes que va por ese proceso? Ahí les di un ejemplo ahorita con lo del pan. The we, we, speak, we speak yesterday to Diana. Exactly, right? We talk about Diana, right? But in that case, yes, when, yeah, it goes straight to the retailers. Because there is, I think there is no one who buys thousands of churritos and then they sell them to other stores. Well, we never know. <laughs> Could be. So it, it could be, definitely. Because here on the next channel, we have the wholesaler channel. The producer, they go to the wholesalers, they sell to the retailers, and they sell then to the customers. Right? Do you know any example of this type of channel? Supermarket. The supermarkets, right? The supermarkets go to the big producers. They buy a lot of product. They sell it to you. And then we go to the stores and get it. And the last channel that we have is the agent and broker channel. We have the producer makes the product, but the producer doesn't know how to sell it. So he has to look for an agent to create the strategy. The agent gets the wholesalers, the retailers, and the customers. For example, the, I don't know, people who buy things in Amazon, they put them on Amazon because they say like, oh, here you have my product, sell it. We never know, we don't know what to do with it. And then a lot of people buy a lot of products from, from Amazon, that it's the agent in this case, they bring it to the retailers, and to the customers, right? So it is a big process. Do you get the idea of how the four processes work? Do you get the clear idea of how they work? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes okay, sir. very good. So based on this one, here you have it as well on your book. If you go to your manual, you have it right here. Here we have the processes. In the process, you only have three channels. I added the fourth one for you to get more ideas and more information about the different processes. As you can see here, you have the ones that I already mentioned, right? Continuing with the topic, I have it right here. And it says, this is all the things that are involved with the process of intermediaries, right? All the people who are like in the intermediate process, 
they go through different like branches. What is the first branch that they do? It's negotiating. They negotiate the product. And for sure, they, what is the next one? Risk sharing. Risk, risk, sharing. Sharing. risk sharing. What do you think this means? ¿Qué significado le dieran a este? ¿O a qué creen ustedes que se refiere? The, the, possibility, the possibility to lose money. The possibility to lose money, right? You share the risk. It's like, let's do this and we hope it is going to work. If it works or not, then it is on both person. Here you have the brand promotion, right? Because if you want to sell something, you have to put it and you have to uh, merchandise it, right? You have to put it for the public, right? It's the brand promotion. What is the next process that you have here? Can you help me to read it? Market information transfer. The market information transfer, right? To put your product on the market so many people can have access to it. What about the next stage? Product distribution is the rest assortment. Okay, the product distribution, a storage or assortment when you classify your products, right? That's the meaning of this one. When you distribute them, when you classify them and when you storage them, right? Once you get all the products, you have to do for sure the distribution. And then you have managing payment flow, right? It is to manage all these type of payments that you might have. Now, what are the different forms of payment that we have? What are the different forms of payment that we have in the market? Uh, cash. By card. By card. By credit. Cash, credits, transfers. Uh, but well, you can pay by with Bitcoin, right? By credit card. By credit card, right? You can do it through the bank, through a credit card, to cash, right? You can do it through Bitcoin, to any type of these electronic payments, right? So you have a lot of options in the managing payment flow. And the last one that we have, it's outreaching, right? That after you sell everything, you have to go around and make all the publicity again because you are going to get to the customers and for sure the final stage is selling the products, right? When the product is on the hands of the customer. But in order to do this, you have to do all the process, right? And it involves certain type of risk, right? So based on this example that I just mentioned, I need you please, if you have your manual, or if you don't have it, I am going to project it for you to go. We're going to go to exercise six and we're going to be on page number 10. If you don't have it, I am going to share it for everybody. I have here different situations, right? And I need you to tell me if the process is direct, retail or wholesale, right? Here we have the options. And I am going to give you some time to read them, analyze them, and identify them, right? From one to six. Okay. If you have the opportunity to print the manual, do it. It is a very good thing that you have it on paper because in that way you can actually work on it. If not, you can work on the PDF. I am going to send you the image on the chat because I am going to send you to working groups. You are going to work in mini groups of three and you are going to decide which is the correct answer for each of the situations, okay? Here you have six different situations and you have to tell me if it is a direct retail or a wholesale process. I am going to send it on the chat right now. 
okay? If you don't have it. And you are going to receive an invitation for you to go and work in groups. You have to write next to each sentence if it is direct, retail, or wholesale, okay? Right now, you will receive the invitation for you to join the group, discuss it with your group, analyze it, and the most important part, when I ask you for answers, I tell you, why? It is not like, si sí, teacher, la uno, la dos, la tres, la cuatro, si sí, la ve, la sé. Why? You have to give me the answer to this question, right? Because they say, no, teacher, you see, it goes straight to the customers. They don't do any other process because they go like this and this, right? Analyze the situations. It is not just like, ah, yes, no. One, two, three. Analyze your answer, okay? So I am going to have six groups. And, okay, now I am going to have only five. Okay. And you are going to receive the invitation right now. Click on the invitation and you are going to go and work with your group. Please analyze the options and give me the best answers for each of the situations. Go ahead. Thank you, Marlene, I, okay, did you receive the invitation? Marlene and Silvia, ¿recibieron la invitación para los grupos? Thank you very much, and I am missing Silvia. Silvia, did you receive the invitation for the group? Hola, Silvia, recibió la invitación para unirse al grupo. Okay, so we are waiting for Sylvia to connect to the different groups and I am going to go and observe what or how the students are working on the different definitions. There you go. Okay, I think Sylvia had a difficulty there with the connection. So we're going to go and check how students are doing in the different groups. Let's go. Okay. Um, Ikea buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Hello, girls. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Hi. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. Pretty good. Very good. Any problem with the exercise? No, teacher. We are analyze the the answer okay keep working i'm going to check on the next group okay thank hello hi hello teacher any problem with the 
with the exercise? Uh, one question. question. Yeah. Um, Amazon um, sell countless uh, customer, uh, but um, um, how can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Try to try to organize the idea. Um, uh, in a moment, uh, I think a uh, retailer, uh -huh. but uh, Tiana say uh, Amazon sell online to the customer. Uh -huh. direct. I, direct. I read on you. I. I Google it that <laughs> countless are created from Amazon. Exactly I mean, like that. They are uh, they are a product that comes straight from their company. But teacher, I have a question. Is like uh, devices or something like that? Yes, uh, it's like um, like a tablet. tablet. It's very similar to a tablet on which you can read. Oh, right. okay. it, it was made for ebooks. Right, it was made uh -huh. for ebooks for you to read there, for you to read online, but it is created straight from Amazon and they put it on the store. Okay, okay, so in that case, it's a direct, direct, yes, yes. Okay. it's a direct form because they don't require anyone else and they do it straight from the producer to the customer. To the customer, okay, okay. okay. thank you very much. You're welcome, tell me. I have another question. Tell Retailer me. is in a small quantities and wholesaler is in big quantities. Yes, yes. Wholesaler okay. is in bulk, in big quantities. When okay. when you say wholesaler is like, for example, Apple, he he's the he's the owner of the devices, for example, uh -huh. that they uh, distribute distribute the all the devices. Yes. That is different between no, them. in that in that case, remember that the wholesaler it's an intermediary, right? And they they work in the distribution channel because they buy a lot of products in big quantities. That it's a wholesaler. So um, number two is wholesaler. Yeah, in that case, remember that the wholesaler, I was giving you the example of uh, the people who have these little stores at home, but they go to Price Mart, for example, to buy these big quantities, and then they sell it there in La Tiendita, right? So, but in that case, it is, it is like that. I am going to assign the ones that are not in the groups. Let me see. I'm going to assign one here and I'm going to assign one in room four. Okay, I am going to go and help group number three and I will come back in a moment, okay? Okay. Hello. Teacher. Hi. Hello, uh, hello. We are having some mistake. No, it's okay. The idea is that no, you no, discuss. No. Tell me. No, 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 but but <laughs> my mistake is my mistake. It's a it's a really problem. Oh, you're having a problem, uh huh? Yes, because <laughs> I am not in the WhatsApp group, so ah, I don't get the class. Ah, I don't ah. know why. But so that's the you... reason why I rather stay so shy. <laughs> did you did you receive your email with all the information about the curse? Yes, of course. Okay, on that email, there is one that says WhatsApp link. You okay. have to click there and then you have to uh, you have to just join the group and that's it, right? Okay, let me try actually. Teacher, but I remember I received that uh, link for WhatsApp group in my personal WhatsApp. Okay, <laughs> they send it to you straight. But it is also on the on the email. The email. Yes, ah. también lo encuentran en el correo. Okay. Donde estaba todo, donde estaba la, la, el link para Zoom, donde estaba el, el link para la plataforma y todo eso, toda la información que les mandan, ahí también va el, el link de WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Did you find it? No. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, here I go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome okay. to the group. Okay. I'm trying. Yes, actually. <laughs> I'm going to, to put three periods. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I have you here. Seven, seven, five, seven, six, right? Yes, but I okay. don't get but I don't have the class. 
because no carga. <laughs> ah, that's why. I am going to I am going to send it again, okay? Se lo voy a volver a enviar. La imagen, because okay. nice. that's what we are using. Okay, good, very good. And what about the rest? Claudia Maria, any problem? Oh, thank you, teach. You're welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry, I was driving. <laughs> ah, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Things that happen, don't worry. Okay. Mostly if you are a mother. What are you doing? We are working on the we are working on the <laughs> image that I sent you. We are working on the classification if it is a direct channel, a retailer channel, or a wholesaler channel. Okay. Okay, let's work on that one. I am going to go to the next group to see if they need any help and I will come back in a moment, okay? Okay. okay. What do you hello, what hello. do you think, Suleima? What do you think? Hola Silvia. Pero le escucho, le escucho. Any okay. question with the exercise? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, no? Um, Did only... you finish? No. 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 Oh, only different opinions. You have different opinions about what? Let's yeah. see if I can help you. It's better uh, for the teacher. <laughs> Let's see. What is the, we, the, the, the we, question that you have? We were discussing mm -hmm. number one. Uh -huh. Amazon sell kindness. Kindles. To its cost, Kindles to its customers so uh -huh. its own platform. Uh -huh. And Danny and me think that is wool seller. Uh -huh. and, but, Carol uh -huh. and Carolina, a direct channel. Uh -huh. Why, Carolina? A ver, denos la respuesta. Why do you think it's a direct channel? You, your microphone is off, Carolina. Nos está dando el secreto ahí de la vida eterna y no está muy Perdón, perdón, perdón. Me lo pagué con total. Vale, pero eh, en mi opinión, Amazon eh, vende eh, con Kindles eh, a sus clientes a través de su propia plataforma. Es decir, que lo vende directamente, es un canal directo. Exactly. And the Kindles are, it, it, well, they are specific products created from Amazon. So Amazon creates this type of tablets for uh, online books and they are the producers and they sell it there in their platform. So the, uh, the winner here is Carolina because it is a direct process. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, continue, Thank continue you. discussing the other ones, please, because I'm going to go to the last group and uh, to see if they need help. And then we're going to go and discuss together. Okay, hurry up, my dear class. Okay. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very good. Any question that you have? Maybe you can uh, ex explain to us uh, the process of the wholesale China. Okay, the process of the wholesale channel. In this case, the wholesale channel goes like this. It goes from the producer to the distributor, right? The wholesaler, it's remember that it's an intermediary, right? It's an intermediary yes. that goes and buys a lot of product and brings it to the customers. Yesterday, I was giving you the example of Price Mart. Imagine that I have a mini supermarket here in my neighborhood, but I buy a lot of products because I don't go for only two or three sodas, right? I go and buy the big packages. So I go to the producer. In this case, it's like Prismo will be like the agent or the broker, right? Ellos entrarían quizás en el proceso cuatro en el que les estaba explicando. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos no hacen los productos. Ellos igual los compran en gran medida. 
So in this case, teacher, yes? teacher, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry because the PNC is in my <gasps> is in my house. Okay. I need I need I need to attend them, please. Okay, don't worry. Tell them that you are in class. Thank you. Keep recording for anything, in just in case. <laughs> uh huh. Deje grabando por si acaso. <laughs> Okay, Manuel, thank you very much. Things that happen in El Salvador. Right? <laughs> okay, my dear class. So the idea is that one, right? You go with the producer, then you go with the distributor. And then when you have a lot of product, you bring it to the little stores and the little customers. Okay, so that's the wholesale channel. Well, we are going to go back to the room. We are going to go back to the class and we are going to discuss all this together, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, the chair have some connection. What? Don't worry, Rosita. Okay, we are back. Most of your classmates are connecting again. And we're going to discuss. We are going to discuss the findings. And here we have the six different processes that we were analyzing, okay? Here we go. Okay, we are back. The first process that we have here, it's Amazon sells Kindles to its customers through its own platform. Is this a direct channel, retail channel, or a wholesale channel? Retail channel. Uh-huh. Direct. Retail. Okay. Some of you say direct, some of you say retail. Direct channel. Okay, I need a one. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer from the retail channel. Who says that it's retail? No, no, sorry, no. no. <laughs> I say direct. <laughs> okay, direct, no, direct. <laughs> no worries, I, I no think, worries. I think it's direct I channel get because <laughs> the relation is is direct the the producer with the consumers. Okay, the producer with the product is the same, right? The producer, it's Amazon, and the product is from Amazon. And where do they sell it? Donde lo venden? Uh, through, the, through its own platform. Uh, through its own platform. So they don't platform. have to go, they don't have to go with Teacher Nati and say like, Teacher Nati, vendame. No, right? They have their own platform they and they, they do it. They use agent. They don't use an agent or they don't use a wholesaler or they don't use a distributor. Very good job. What about the next one? About Ikea buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Wholesale channel. A wholesale channel because they buy products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores, right? What about the next one? Awesome Grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Retailer. Huh? No, wholesale. A wholesale channel. A wholesale 
retainer. I, uh -huh. I have different. I have different opinions. Okay, for number two, remember that in I this think. case, for number two, let's analyze number two before moving to the next one. For number two, it says IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. So IKEA, it's a, and you were mentioning, it's, it's a wholesaler because they buy a lot for them and they sell them in their stores, okay? They buy a lot of products from different manufacturers. Les compran a diferentes personas, en, quizás en gran medida, pero no los venden en otro lado. Los venden en sus propias tiendas. So in this case, they are just a wholesaler, right? Because they are the, they go to the producer, to the distributor, and to the customer. But what about number three? Awesome Grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores eh, with purchases in bulk. Ellos van, compran y le dan a varios para que vendan. So in this case, we have retailer, retailer right? It's a retailer because they go, they buy, and the other ones sell. What about the next one? Number four. Who can help me to read number four? We can do it. Yes. Dell, Dell Computer sells through its own, own online platform or call center. So in that case, it's direct. 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 Very direct. good. What about number five? Retention. Number five? They got my clothes okay. from other manufacturers to sell in their store. Okay, they buy from the other manufacturers to sell in their stores. What is wholesale. that one? It's a wholesale, wholesale, right? Wholesale because they they are the ones that sell everything, right? Very good. And what about number six? What about the last one? Retailer. It says mm -hmm. better grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. It is the same as number three. Retailer it is a channel. retailer, right? It is a yeah. retailer channel. In this case, number six, it was exactly like number three, right? Number one, it's direct. Number two is wholesale. Number three is retail. Number four is direct because they don't change it. And number five is a wholesale. And number six, for sure, it's a retailer as well, okay? We are going to continue working in the different teams, but in this case, I am going to give you situations. We are going to read situation one, okay? Todos van a leer la situación uno antes de irnos al, a los grupos pequeños. I am going to ask Claudia Maria to help me with the first paragraph. Okay, number one, when you and this is woman has designed clothes and accessories from the ladies in town. After getting an overwhelming response from her friends and peers, she decides to open an apparel store. Okay. She rented, continue, oh. continue, continue. She rented a place and paid an initial deposit of 5000 and a monthly rent for 1200 $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, Wendy put a few of her products on display in the store. Many ladies showed up and expressed their interest in the collection, but they hardly bought anything. She waited for two months in a row, but she could sell only two or three pieces. Okay, so here we have a poor Wendy, right? She it's a novice businesswoman. What's a novice? It's a person who is starting, mm -hmm. right? A person who is starting on the business and for sure she was designing clothes and accessories for the ladies in the town. She was getting an overwhelming response. It was like, wow, my gosh, she's selling a lot with their friends, right? And she decided to open an apparel store. An apparel store, it's the one on which you have all your products 
shown to the market and people go to, to the store, right? How much money did she pay for the deposit? $5,000, right? $5,000. And how much was the monthly rent? $1,200. $1,200, right? Manuel, everything is fine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. So the rent was $1,200. And was she successful on her business? No. No, right? She was not, not successful. Yet. She is not successful yet. But you know what? Wendy is very lucky because I have the people who are going to help her with your group. I am going to send you back with your group. And you are going to tell me what are you going to do in order to help Wendy have a very good business. You have to come with an idea. And I say like, you are Wendy and you have to find a way to, to, uh, to give a solution to this. You are going to discuss with your group and you are going to say, ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos para salir victorioso de esto? So Wendy closed the store and she said, nah, I am not going to buy anything. I'm not going to sell anything. And for sure, she said that she quitted the business. It's like, nah. But what do you think? Imagine that you are Wendy. What is the best solution for this problem? You design clothes, you design accessories, you design things for the ladies, right? And for sure, you need to find a solution for you to go back to the market, okay? So I am going to send you back to the groups. You are going to work together and bring me an idea. What do you think you can do in order sure. to go back to the business? Yes? Uh, I have a question. Question me, go ahead. This exercise is not in the manual? No, this exercise, I brought it to you, right? Este yo se los traigo. <laughs> this one and the next one, because they are two. So it's for you to think out of the box, for you to help other people to create their own businesses. Now I just put the examples on, on progress. So I am going to send you back to the groups, analyze it. You are going to have a, a little bit more people now and you are going to discuss what is your strategy to help Wendy to go back in business, okay? What are you going to do? Let's work on the groups. I am oh, going to- we, we have teacher. I am going to give you 15 minutes. Okay. Yo creo que en 10, 15 minutos lo logramos, okay? okay? I am going to give you the time and we are going to be working in bigger groups. Okay. So we are going to have it there. Here we go. Yes, we have groups of five and six. Let's go and discuss ideas into business. Go ahead. Okay, there we go. Now, students are working on an idea how to help Wendy with her business. We are going to be visiting the different groups so we can check how students are developing their ideas and how students are working out with the responses for this exercise. Let's go and check how they are doing.
uh, 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 help with the social media um, publicity. Professional yes, market. maybe publicity. Mm -hmm. In the social media. Yes, in she can use that and maybe she can go to another stores too for try to have a retailers too. And after that, maybe she's going to sell another another piece of the the clothes, I think. That is a good idea. Mm -hmm. She can find some retailers. Yeah. Good to find retailers. That's a very good idea, my dear class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also a social media idea, it's good. So you can work it out a little bit more. I am going to go and see what the other ones are thinking. Let's habilitada la función de compartir. Ah, right now I can help you, don't worry. Okay, thank you. Hello, <laughs> ha, exactly on time. Ya ven, le llegué justo a tiempo. Okay, solo en compartir se nos está viendo el tiempo. Tío. Ay, come on. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Who is going to share? Um, Dani. Hello, Cristian. Good evening. Good evening. We are discussing a case. I have a case. I have a case and they are going to show it right now. On which uh, a person is having difficulties hey. to, nice. uh, to sell something, right? The lady mm -hmm. was a businesswoman and she had difficulties with the payment and everything. And she had to close her business. So what we are doing is to find a strategies to help her to come back in business, right? So you are going to discuss a little bit on that and you have 15 minutes to complete it. I am going to go and see how the other ones are working. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Diana, what, what, we need more time. <laughs> no, it's okay. I am here to see if you need help. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, I we have what, two ideas. Yeah, what ideas yeah. do you have for, for Wendy? Uh, we, we need we to have get two, two ideas. Uh -huh, tell the, me. The first one is recommend to Diana use the consultant to, to make somebody who can explain and have an expertise. Okay, to find a consultant. That's the first one. And yeah. what is the other one? Move the store yeah. to other place. <laughs> <laughs> to move to move the store oh, to a different place. A different other, other place Little. cheaper. Okay, mm -hmm. to a to a cheaper place. What is a cheaper place to move products? Mm. Analyze that one. Well, it's a market. very cheap place. <laughs> the market, ha! Uh -huh. But there is another one. What well, it's a cheaper place to move products nowadays. Where are you right now? You are not in my house. You are not in English Corporativo. Where are we right now? At your own house. On the internet. Online. Yes. Uh -huh. how, how can you move products online? Yes, it's use, a good idea. Use the, use the oh, social yeah. media. For instance, a marketplace. Build up the idea. Build up the idea. Uh -huh. Do you the pay? <laughs> do you pay rent in marketplace? No. Do you sell products? Anything. And say like, yes. I I don't need the cell phone anymore. Marketplace. Marketplace. And then <laughs> what, what is what is the question that they always do? Ah, precio y donde entrega. <laughs> That's the first question that they do. <laughs> and in some cases, you don't buy anything. You just go window shopping. Yeah, también puedes ir a vitrine al, al marketplace. That it's window yes. shopping. Oh, qué bonito. <laughs> precio y donde entrega. <laughs> And you never buy anything. Build up your idea and I'm going to come back later. Voy a ir con los otros que necesitan ayuda. Okay. I will come okay. back in a moment. Okay. okay. Continue working your thank, idea. Thank you. 
Uh, continue, continue. Thank you. So it's important when you're trying to, to buy your products, to define your best target. So I think okay. it's a... Maybe okay. she, she has an, a, a business plan. Maybe. I think um, the real material and ingredients are so important because the client uh, prefer, prefer the quality in the product. Uh, maybe um, make, um, hmm, what can I say? Market study? study? A marketing strategy or a market study? No, study, study. Ah, okay. Study. Marketing study. To create a business plan. Yes. Um, mm. cons consultant, uh, a consult? To consult People. a consultant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A consultant okay. person. Okay, when you, when you uh, get a consultant, uh huh. Uh, a professional in business plan. Okay, a professional in business planning, right? The consultant, for sure, you know that it's a professional in business, right? It's a person who helps everybody else to uh, get the best out of their their business and their plans. Good. Uh, Finish. A, a, yeah. Yeah. A yes, partnership. A partnership. That's a very good idea to create a partnership with other mini stores so they can retail the product on the different stores. That's a very good idea. So decide on what will be your strategy. And I am going to bring you back to the room in three minutes, okay? Decide your strategy. Anything in, in, in cualquier lugar, sino que solo en su tienda. Uh, then um, uh, um, World Search Channel uh, it facilitates uh, the buy the product. Also, we can say that you can sell in online store, or in that case, it will be. Okay, if she is the producer and she buys or she goes through an online store, what type of channel is, is it that one? If she's the producer and she goes to her online store, Yes, yes, that would be direct. Online store or, or intermediaries. Okay, if you if you go with an intermediary, for sure you are going to get a. You have to pay the other person, right? But if she has her online store and she goes on the internet, she doesn't have to pay mm -hmm. anybody. But she's going to be receiving only the earnings, and the profit is going to go higher. That's a very good idea, Claudia. Very nice. Okay. I am going to go and check the last group right now. Maybe she charge a lot. <laughs> or maybe their products are very expensive. Uh -huh. Yes. Could be because she is a Expertise. This is a, a, a problem to sell. Yes, because she, is, she knows is. about the, the design and she could be very good in your in your job, but maybe she don't know the the consumer, the market, the the whole process. She doesn't, she doesn't know. She don't she know. Does. Oh. Does it? Yes, she doesn't. 
Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry, I am here to help. Someday. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it's a teacher's thing, right? I am, I was listening to your idea, but I was also listening to the grammar. <laughs> Okay. okay, choose the person that it's going to be presenting. Who is going to present the idea from your group? Discuss who is going to be presenting the, the idea, okay? We are going to go back. Well, I am going to go out right now from the group, but you are going to come back in one minute, okay? So please okay. decide who is going to be the person uh, who is going to be in charge of presenting for the group, okay? Okay. okay. I saw. I saw Diana. Diana was. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, I, I agree <laughs> with that. I agree no, with that. This... Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Diana. No, Hi. this is this is going to be like uh, any first. any mini mini mo. <laughs> okay, you what know what? About ladies first. And ladies first. Oh. But we we <laughs> we are going to be very um, open to this idea. Yeah. Voice first. Yeah. <laughs> no, decide. I agree with that. Decide. Did you ask Diana? Diana, do you want to do it? Yes or no? Right? It's like, Diana. <laughs> no, right? Diana is a person. <laughs> discuss. <laughs> discuss who is going okay, to be yeah, presenting. Okay. Discuss it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 You have one minute. Okay. Okay, hey, Christia, hi. <laughs> Hello. You were the first one coming back. Uh, Did you choose the presenter? Uh, I think yes. <laughs> I, think, I think yes. Yes, we did it. Okay. I have a rebellious dog, that's why. Sorry for the noise. No problem. Okay. <laughs> My dog when when she she wants something, she throws away the wakales. <laughs> that's why I was like, Shh, silence. She just gets them and throws them away. And that's the, the point that she needs something. Well, thank you, my dear class. We are all back. And we are going to be discussing about the great ideas that I was listening on the different groups. Did you choose the person who is going to present? Group number one, Jose, Juan, Olga, Rocio, Tatiana, Vilma, who is going to present? Uh, teacher is going to be Juan de Dios. Okay, Juan de but, Dios. But if we want to say something, we you can, can. You can add, okay. yes. Okay, the representative of the group is Mr. Juan de Dios. Okay. What about, hey, thank you. <laughs> what about number two? Group number two, we have Carolina, Claudia, Cristia, Dani, Jose, and Marlene. Who is the chosen one? Dani. Danny. Yes. <laughs> Danny. Like that. <laughs> then okay, Danny, you're the chosen one. Very good. Fue fue democrático o fingercrático? Finger. Was finger. Fingercratic is like you, 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 you. And it's not yeah. democratic because you don't ask the person. It's like, Nati quieres presentar tu nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> That's finger credit. What about the next one? Group number three. Diana, Jorge, Manuel, Omar, and Silvia. Manuel. <laughs> Manuel. Yay. <laughs> Democracy at work. <laughs> Manuel, do you want to do it? <laughs> yes. That's very good. Okay. So let's listen to the first group. Miss. Juan de Dios, how are you going to solve the situation with the poor Wendy? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, in the group, uh, we're uh, doing 
or showing a lot of ideas, but we think that Wendy needs to save money, money because she has, has been waste a lot of money and she needs to show her product in a social media, and through marketing, and make brochure to distribute through this to distribute on the street to the people to show her products and increase her sales. Okay, to increase her earnings and her sales. Oh. Very good idea. What type of channel do you think this one is? The one that one is using? Retailer channel. It's a retailer. Is she going to get more people working with her? Or uh, she is going no. to do it? Direct. It's going to be direct. Right, she's going to go Direct to the customer, she's going to go online, she's going to be giving the brochures. So she is going to be doing most of the things because she needs to save money. Any other thing that you want to add to Juan de Dios? Yeah, uh, a partnership. A uh, partnership, good. Help with the mar marketing. Partnerships, very good. What else? Yes, we were talking about the marketing because that is important. It, she needs to to try a lot of ad, advertising uh, for increase the sales. To increase, and uh -huh. Maybe find or find some retailers because she alone she can't do it. <laughs> so she needs to find an another retailers. I think. Okay. With okay. Very good job. Group number one. Excellent job, the one that you did. Very good, very good. Claps for group number one, please. Very good. Um, hey, in okay. our group, uh, uh -huh. we did a uh, better option is a uh, retail channel. It's a uh, 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 better in uh, mejor, me, mejores opciones. Better uh, options. For the, for the buying. In the competition, and has different design clothes and accessories. Um, I have a, a better uh, mercado, no sé cómo se dice. Market. Market. Vamos. So she can find retailers. So you think that your best strategy is to find retailers? And so she can put the product in many more places. That's a very good thing. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And what about uh, someone else from Danny's group who wants to add something? No? Group number three, Mr. Manuel. Okay. Teacher, in this case, uh, we discuss with my classmates. Yes. Uh, we help to Wendy. Um, um, first step is a uh, she needs a consultant because she she don't she don't have she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't have. Uh, any idea about the market? Second, she we recommend a channel is online. For example, marketplace. Good. On Facebook, um, also direct channel. The direct channel. So if direct she goes. Channel. First, she needs a consultant. That's a very good thing, right? If you don't know what to do, you need to go with an expert, right? Very good. So she needs a consultant. She needs help on this one. And she is going to use the online uh, channel for you to uh, put the product on the market and straight to the customers. Very good 
definitions. Thank you. Group number three, anything else that you want to add? No? Everything was very clear with Manuel. Claps for Manuel and claps for Dani, please. Yeah, very good job. Indeed, the solution for the problem was online marketing. That was online marketing. It is the most recommended right now because of the uh, type of market that we have. And as Wendy was losing a lot of money, she needed a solution that uh, didn't involve investing a lot of money. And for sure, looking for the help of the consultant. And group number three found that solution. Very good job. And I have this other situation for everybody. This is going to be in general. Let's see, Mr. Let me see. I am going to ask Omar Hernandez. Can you help me to read the next example? This is example number two. No idea. Hello, Omar. Hello. Can you help me to read? Or you are not, uh, you don't have the, the, the screen to read. Yes, yes. Me ayudas a leerlo, por favor. Ok. Example Multi number two. Ok. Multiply head card. You how common you with vaccinate to fight the coronavirus pandemic. However, the vaccine products cannot reach the public directly or keep track of vaccinate and no vaccinate people. How can they sol solve this use? Okay, very good. Thank you, Omar, for your help. I am going to uh, clarify it again. And it says, multiple health care units have come up with vaccines to fight the coronavirus pandemic. However, the vaccine producers cannot reach the public directly or keep track of vaccinated and non-vaccinated people. How can we solve this issue? What do you think it's the best way to work with the COVID vaccines? A what? Wholesaler channel. A wholesaler channel. How did we do this in our country? Mm. How did they fix this problem in our country? Uh, because they are going to distribute the uh, one company. Mm -hmm. and they go to the uh, what is <laughs> To the pharmacies, okay, to the drugstores. Oh, the, uh -huh. the doctor or the hospital. Okay, but they say that they cannot keep track of vaccinated and non-vaccinated people. Do you think that if you put the vaccines on the drugstore, do you keep track of who got them and who doesn't? ¿Creen que pueden llevar el track si se lo venden a todas las farmacias, por ejemplo? ¿Van a saber quién se vacunó y quién no? No, I think no. No, and how did they do it? Piensen en su en, en nuestro país, cómo lo trabajaron. Um, the teacher is is like is well in this country, um, the government has used the 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 DUI, and by the DUI, we they can know who is vaccinated. vaccinated? vaccinated or who is not vaccinated. Very good. Right in, through the ID, right? Uh-huh, but Vilma? Implant, implementar. Imp, they implement? They implement a uh, target for, uh, with um, uh, the vaccinated um, and the date. Uh-huh. Um, the doses. The dosages? The dosages. Okay, but they have the card. This is called card. A card with the 
uh, with who got it, where did she got it, or where did he got it, and for sure the number of vaccines that the person has received. So this process was an example taken from our country, right, on which they buy in bulk all the vaccines, right, but they take them exactly to one place, and from this place they distribute it, but only in the national area of in the national health area right so they can keep track of who got the vaccine and who didn't right and in this case we have a complete process of uh, the product right and in this case we don't have a direct thing because we don't have it from the producer to the customer or the producer to the retailer right here we have the producer the distributor the retailer and then the customers. Ya cuando llegaron al hospital, ahí las tuvimos nosotros. But first, it was a big process, right? From a different country until we got it here in um, the different hospitals. So, based on this one, we are going to go over the second part of our class. And in this case, I have a question. Mr. Jorge Humberto, can you help me to read the first question? Which products need, need a faster distribution speed? Aha. Which products need a faster distribution speed? And what distribution methods is the competition using? We are going to answer this one later on. So this one right now, we are not going to answer this one, but we are going to answer the first one. Which type right. of products need a faster distribution speed vegetable maybe vegetables what else food. 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 fruits medicines medicine dairy products dairy products aha uh -huh. de cuando es este queso de hace siete meses mira <laughs> it's not possible because it's yeah, going to be it's De months, depending so. depending on the type it of depends. cheese yes. <laughs> because the fresh one it's not going to be that fresh anymore yes one, two, three days. yeah two or three days the milk right the, the, yeah. the natural milk if it is yeah. not distributed 15, faster, 15 days 15 the days bread. the bread Right, you are going to have the bread as well, right? The bread is another product that needs to be distributed faster. What do you think of ice cream? Yes. Ice cream. Um, I'm do, not sure. Yes. Do you do you think it needs to be distributed fast? Yes. yes. Ice too. <laughs> ice. Exactly, right? Yeah. Ice. The, ice. the vegetables. The vegetables, right? The vegetables, if not, the they ruin. What do you think of the flowers? Yeah. Yes. Because if not, imagine if the flowers are in the storage room, in the warehouse, like for three months, they are going to be dead, right? They are going to be dead flowers. And for sure, all the ones that are related to food, right? Yes. And let's go and see here. Let me move this one a little bit. Sure? Here we go. Here you have a conversation. I need you to analyze it, please. Let's analyze the conversation and the vocabulary. Here you have it. There you go. Did you finish reading the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
Yes. What is the product that they are going to work with? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream, right? They are going to work with ice cream. Tell me, what type of a uh, what type of production channel or distribution channel are they going to use? Direct channel. Direct channel. Direct channel. Direct. Okay. Actually. And where do where do you think where do you think they are going to be uh, making the business? In their own. Okay. okay, very good. And let me see. Is the business a good business or a very bad deal? Good business. Uh, because it's business. going well. Because right, the business right now, is going well. Right now, the business is going it's well, going right? Well. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let's start here. Listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice together. The business is going well. I never thought or ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Let's go with me. The business is going well. The business is going I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. I never thought ice cream would sell like this. Yeah. Yeah. The booth is always packed with people. The booth is always packed with people. Do you know the meaning of booth? No. Aha, why don't you ask me? Una pequeña tienda. Yeah, uh, the booth is like, yeah, like a stand. It's like a stand. I remember right? a movie. The kiss booth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the kiss booth. It is the, the cabina. Una cabinita, right? That's a booth. The booth is always packed with people, right? Siempre está lleno. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We, don't we have to set. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. We don't know anything about running our own store. Our own store. Our, our own, own store. store. Our own store. Our our own own store. store. We don't know anything about running our own store. We don't, we don't know, know anything about running, about running our, our own, own store. store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Let's ask uh, the, the manager, manager at the ice cream shop downtown. 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 Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Certainly, he will want to buy our ice cream. Incredible. Incredible. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Our incredible ice cream, right? Our incredible ice cream. Very good job. Now, we are going to go over a specific words, right? You say, the business is going well. The business, the business is going well. The business, the business is going well. The business is going well. The business is going well. Yeah, hasta Kaiser. The business is going well. I love it. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. It's it's normal. I mean, it's normal. Thank God at night we don't have vegetables, right? Gracias a Dios que en la noche no viene el de la verdura. Yeah. <laughs> or the bread, the bread uh, person. Like, me, 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 me. <laughs> so the business is going well. The business, the business is going, is going well. well. I never thought. 
I never no, so. Our ice cream will sell like this. Our, Our ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream like will sell like this. Okay, English is important because it doesn't have a stress marks. No tiene marca de stress, no tiene tildes. Tiene que tener feeling. Because if you say, the business is going well. I never <laughs> thought our ice cream will sell like this. Fantastic. <laughs> you have to feel the language because if not, imagine if I say, si va bien el negocio, vea. Sí, va bien. Okay. You, you are not happy about the business. You say, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. It's Sounds different. Good. Imagine if you say like, hey, hoy es mi cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Bro. <laughs> it's like thank you very much right? the business is going well díganmelo con alegría como que de veras el negocio les está dando ahí miles de dólares one, two, three the business is going well I never thought our ice cream will sell like this I never thought our ice cream would look like this. Like this. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Okay. okay. Ahorita me lo va a contar. Ahorita se lo va a contar yo a Rocío. Se like, Rocío, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Cuénteme lo usted, Rocío. Okay, this be, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Okay, that's the form, you see. Vilma, cuéntemelo a mí, que el business va bien. Vamos. Teacher. The business is, teacher, the business is going well. Really? I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Mm, a little bit more, a little bit more. Ah, no, todavía no, 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 no está creyendo que las ganancias están llegando. Ok. Oh, míralo, míralo, me pone la manita. Oh. Cocha, oh, Hasta yo me emocioné. <laughs> Vilma, go ahead. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more passion. Let's see, Jorge, tell me about the business. Sure, the business is going well. I never thought ice cream could sell like this. Hey, fantastic. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Mr. Juan de Dios, cuénteme. ¿Cómo va? The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Aha, let's see. That, that Tatiana, tell me about the business. Uh, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Very good. Hey, Olga, how is the business? The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Okay, fluency, fluency. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Let's see, Jose Carlos, tell me about the business. Hey, teacher. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Very good. You are happy because of the business. Diana, go ahead. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. You see, she's happy because of the business. Manuel, tell me about the business. How is it going? Teacher, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Very good. Carolina, how is the business? Teacher, this mini this this business is going well. I never saw our ice cream for sell like this. Wow, we need more ice cream. That's fantastic. Rosa Beatriz, how is the business? The business is going well. I never saw our ice cream for sell like this. Hey, let's buy more ice cream. Christia, go ahead. The Business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Hey, fantastic. Claudia Maria, how is the, the ice cream business? Teacher, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Fantastic. Silvia Suleima, go ahead. Teacher, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Very nice. What about Rocio? No, let Marlene and Nicole. Tell me. 
the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Mr. Omar Hernandez. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will she like this. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. And Jose Rodrigo. Teacher, the business is going well. I never thought ice cream will sell like this. Very good job. Very good job, students. Do you see the difference? Do you see yeah. the difference between reading and actually telling something? Right? Reading is just like the business is going well. I never thought the rising was like this. Yeah, the bus is always packed with people who have said, na, 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 na. okay, ice cream. That's it. That's only reading, right? But what about when you interpret? But what about when you feel? What about when you connect with the person? What about when you actually share the idea? That's the purpose of English. And that's the most difficult part because we are very shy. Es que me da pena, teacher. Ay, no, teacher, ¿cómo le voy a estar diciendo así como bien emocionado? That's the idea of English. That's the idea. Spanish is very lineal. It's very direct, right? En español me puede decir y de un solo inicio, mueve la boca. Te vi en Metro Centro y no me hablaste, fíjate. Mm. Really? In English, you say like, you know, yesterday I saw you in Metro Centro, but you were very busy and you didn't talk to me. What happened? It's different. You feel the connection. You say like, no, you see, I was thinking about uh, the rain and I didn't have an umbrella and all that. And there's when the conversation flows, but you have to feel the idea. You have to feel the idea. And that's the difference with English. And it says, yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop, right? Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. Everybody, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. No, we don't know anything about running our own store. You know, let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Certainly, we want incredible ice cream. Okay, people, all of you are Ed and I am Philip. One, two, and three. The business is going well. I I am Philip. All of you are Ed and I am Philip. Yeah. Aquí no pasó nada. Ok, one, two, three, go. The business is going well. I know. 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 I am Philip. We don't know anything about running. I am running. Okay. We are so excited. I know you are very excited, and I love it. I love that you are very excited. Okay, that's my purpose. That's my purpose. Yeah, estamos tan emocionados que ya se nos va a acabar el tiempo y seguimos aquí emocionados. You are Ed, and I am Philip. When we finish, I am going to take the attendance, okay? <clears throat> you are Ed and I am Philip. Aquí no pasó nada. Okay, students, we are going to practice the conversation. You are going to be Ed and I am going to be Philip, okay? Okay. One, two, and three. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream would sell like this. Yeah. 
the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know. We don't know. But let's ask the manager at the ice cream. Ice, uh, <laughs> let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. <laughs> Good job! Bravo, teacher. Bravo, teacher. <laughs> Finally, now I am Ed and you are Philip. Okay. 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 Students. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah. But you know, we don't know anything about running our own store. He would like to buy our incredible, 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 incredible ice cream. Incredible okay. Ice cream. I am going to call the attendance before the final exercise that I have prepared for you. And let me see. I am going to go back here. Carolina Yamilet? Present teacher. Claudia Maria? Present. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Cristia? Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth? Present. Jorge Humberto? Present. Carlos Argueta? Present teacher. Rodrigo Hernandez? Present teacher. Thank you. Juan de Dios? Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel. Ah, Miguel Ángel está enfermito, ya me acordé. Nelson Gabarrete. Norma Carolina. Norma. Es que se me hizo normita. Se me perdió. Se despidió. Ok, Norma. There you go. Eh, Olga Marleni. Present. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Thank you. Tatiana. Present. Bill Maivet. Marlene. Marlene Present. Nicole. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. And Danny Antonio. Anthony. Present. Danny Anthony. <laughs> okay. Danny Anthony. Antonio. Le estaba diciendo, ya estaba cambiando el nombre. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I am going to reshare what I was doing here. And okay, we have here a couple of questions about the conversation. What about the first one? What channel of distribution is Philip suggesting? Teacher, in my opinion. He is suggesting the direct channel of distribution. Uh -huh. He's suggesting the direct channel. I think it's a retail channel. A retailer. I also think retail. retail channel. Uh -huh. Why do you think it's a retailer? Because Philip recommend to let us, the, the manager, to, to can buy, uh, sell the product in the shop down. Exactly, because he says he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. They have a direct channel right now, but as they say that they are not enough for this type of customers, they are going to look for a retailer, right? Because they need someone else to help them with the sales. What about the next one, number two? What is the question? Can you help me to read the question? 
Do you ever feel know how to run? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't, right? They don't know. No, they don't know anything. They don't know anything. And here they say, we don't know anything about running our own store, right? They don't know anything. What about the last one? Do you think... Phil, do you think Philip's suggestion will help the business grow? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Of course. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because unless they will be able to ask the manager for help. Very good. He knows how to handle this type of business. Excellent, Carolina. Very good. Very good participation. Excellent. So, they don't know, but if they go and ask an expert about the process, for sure they are going to have the opportunity to actually develop better skills and to actually find different ways to do it. Okay, so it is going to help the business grow. Here, my dear students, I wanted to clarify something. In the manual, you have different, you have different videos, yeah. right? On the videos, you can go and check them. And something important, when you watch a video, you can put the subtitles on the video and you can also take notes on vocabulary that you don't know. And there on the group, for example, you can say, teacher, I found this word on a video and I don't know the meaning. The first thing that you need to do is to go to a dictionary, right? And if you don't get the idea of the meaning, you can ask me directly, right? I am your direct channel. You can ask me and I can help you with the definitions of them. But it is important that, for example, if you put a video, don't just listen to the video, right? No lo pongas en el carro y ahí lo voy a oír. No, analyze it, right? If you put the video, analyze the video get vocabulary from the video stop it if you don't understand everything at the first moment youtube has an option to lower the speed okay youtube tiene la opción de que usted puede bajar un poco la rapidez okay. del video para que usted pueda irlo viendo un poco más despacio un poco más detallado the idea that here you can ask, you can uh, check it, and you can find more vocabulary related to the classes that we are studying, right? And here you can also have, you also have uh, two other videos where you can actually read and actually analyze a little bit more about the different things that we have been studying. Okay, so this is important that you go over these situations, read, practice, and get vocabulary. Yesterday, I was telling uh, Carolina that a very good strategy is to read aloud, right? For example, if you have here an article, read aloud the article. So you can listen to your pronunciation. You can listen to the way you read because that is something very important. In some cases, we read very well here, but when we speak, it's not that good, okay? So if you have an article like this one, you can actually practice it and you can read aloud. Tomorrow, we are going to use the expressions of certainty. So if you can go and investigate a little bit more of what these are, and how we use them, it will be perfect. So you have an idea for tomorrow's class. Okay, my dear students, we are going to use expressions of certainty for tomorrow. So that will be our topic. Well, have a beautiful night. Practice your English and I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. I am going to stay with my one-on-one -on -one <laughs> A student. Have a good night, teacher. Have a have good night. 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 Have a have good night. night. Okay. Bye. A big, Bye. big Bye. hug for everybody. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Claudita Maria. Tomorrow. Claudita Maria, you are my one-on-one -on -one for yeah. today. <laughs> Thank you, class. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jose Carlos. 
Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hello, Claudia Maria. How are Hello. you? Okay, very Claudita. Very what is your experience with the English language, Claudia Maria? Okay, I, all my, um, my student life, <laughs> I always studied English. I studied in a bilingual um, school. So I always practice, but when I go to the university, I don't practice at all. And you didn't so practice I'm, anymore? No. <laughs> so I just, they, I don't remember uh, very much grammar, so that's difficult to me. Okay. And uh, this is your first module in English Corporativo, or have you been yes. here for many? No, this is the first one. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, in this case, Claudia Maria, you are telling me that your most difficult skill is grammar. How, yes. how have you feel in the classes? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? Um, I find um, words that I understand and I don't know how to say it, but later I remember that and say, ah, <laughs> <I'm very good. laughs> ah now I know you <laughs> Yes, that's yes. that's kind of uh, like when you are starting, when you are starting, again, I know we only have two classes, but uh, the idea or what I am pursuing with the classes is that you actually train your ear, maybe the content, it's a little bit, uh, what, it's a little bit about business or it's a little bit um, like advanced, but you can come with practice, right? I am planning a lot of ideas, a lot of production from you. And besides the grammar, what other thing do you do you consider that you need help with? I want you to help me with my fluency. I want to talk English very, very well because it's necessary in my job. Okay, and where do you work right now, Claudia Maria? I'm working on Fruit of the Loom. Oh, Fruit of the Loom. And do you yes. work, or I mean, do you actually deal with American people? Or Not do you yet. use, do you use the language at, at your work? Right now, don't. Not that. Uh, in the next, uh, I am applying a, a, a job, a new job, so I have to track my English. Okay. I want to be in the <clears throat> So I have to practice my, my English. Okay. They are representing their, their um, as you say, laws, what is the in okay, English. all the processes, um, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to study a lot about process. Where right now we are we are dealing a lot with this business vocabulary, and we are going to work a bit more on processes, also on definitions, descriptions, and all this that you for sure you are going to use at your workplace. So we need to work on grammar, right? Also yes. on fluency. And for sure, we need to work on vocabulary. Yes, okay, in, the, in this case, Claudia Maria, the, well, the little advice that I was giving with the videos, it is very necessary that you put it into practice. Listen to the videos, listen to the audios, read articles related to the class. En el manual hay muchos videos que puede ocupar que los puede ver, los puede analizar y obviamente le pueden servir para que usted vaya agarrando más vocabulario. Ok. Um, I am going to try to get different videos for you to practice your fluency because as you saw today in the class, it is very necessary. Ok. No solo saberlo hablar, sino saberlo interpretar y saberlo comunicar. Entonces eso va como todo relacionado. Okay. Anything else in a specific that you need help with? Um, for now, it's, it's all. It's okay. All. And, and what about the platform? Do you have any difficulties with the platform or have no, you entered no. to it? I entered to get and to data. No, I don't have problem with that. 
Okay, so with the vocabulary, you don't have issues. Do you have someone to practice your English with, Claudia Maria? Um, no, not for now. So it's only okay, in the class. I have friends, but, but it's we are. <laughs> <laughs> many people, I mean, many people who know the language, it's very difficult that you get them to talk. And they yeah. say like, okay, hablemos. Ay, no, 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 no. So yes, yes. It, it is like that. So it is kind of difficult to find people to practice the language with. So in that case, you have to take very good advantage during the class. I really like that you participate a lot, right? So try to continue doing it because that it's going to give you more um, vocabulary and more uh, like advantage over the other students, right? And um, tomorrow morning you are going to, well, I am going to send for the group a video about fluency and about how to interpret and how to put the, I mean, the position of your mouth at the moment of producing different sounds. And that is going to be very helpful. I would like you to practice a lot that video because it's going to give you a lot of fluency and a lot of, for sure, different ideas on the sounds that we produce. Porque a veces tenemos como los diferentes sonidos y sabemos que, que es diferente, pero no lo producimos. Okay. <coughs> El video cuenta con la posición de la boca, cómo se pone y todo, y ejemplos de los diferentes sonidos que hay. Y eso le va a servir un montón para cuando usted ya ponga en práctica todas las pláticas. So, Claudia María, in general, I am going to focus a little bit more on the grammar definitions. If I find more examples, I am going to be sharing them on the group. I really like to do that. I really like to focus on this and to have students actually developing this part of grammar. The fluency, some recommendations for you to work on your fluency. It is very recommendable that you watch videos online and for sure that you try to imitate the sound of the person in the video, right? Uh, it, that is a very good way to improve your fluency. You can put the video, for example, a person explaining about uh, English, about grammar, and try to imitate the sentences that the person makes. That it's a very good tip for you to improve, improve fluency. Also, if you have a favorite series or favorite music, try to read the lyrics, try to read the scripts, and try to imitate the sound, okay? No vaya a imitar a Eminem o alguno de estos que hablan como super rápido. But try to imitate, it's to snap that, right? But try to imitate their, um, their pronunciation. Like all English okay. songs are very good for this uh, tip. Another one that you can use is to work on WhatsApp notes, voice notes. For mm -hmm. example, during the day, if you don't have anyone else to practice your English with, you can actually record voice notes. It will be like, well, today was a very difficult day. I had to do many other things. And this, this is like if you are keeping a diary, but okay. in voice notes. You can do it with yourself, right? Puedes hacer un grupo contigo misma y de ahí eliminarte. <laughs> Eliminar a alguien más y que quede solo para ti el, el grupo. And then you can record voice notes and you can actually listen to them so you can listen to your english si no agarra un artículo o un parrafito en inglés y lo lee en voz alta mientras se graba así uh -huh. se puede escuchar y dice hey oígame como me oigo <laughs> so you can actually analyze the way you do it okay and in the matter of vocabulary the best way to do it is through reading right i would recommend you to read a lot of articles a lot of information in English, and for sure, get new vocabulary. Vaya haciéndolo ahí en su cuaderno, vaya anotando, transcribiéndolo, haciendo oraciones con el nuevo vocabulario, and it is going to help you a lot. Okay, Claudia Maria, if you need anything else, if you need any extra help, don't doubt on contacting me. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Teacher, I found this one, is it okay? For teacher, I created these sentences. Are they okay? And I will be more than glad to help you and uh, check them, okay? 
So thank you. thank you very much, Claudia Maria. Anything else that I can help you with? No, thank you. It's just that. Okay, thank you very much. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, bye teacher. Bye bye. Thank you.